Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be investigating matchstick houses and finding number patterns. Coming up. Bob the Builder is making houses out of matchsticks and keeps count of the number of matchsticks needed for each option. His first three are below. So you can see he's got one house, two houses, and then three houses. The next one's going to have four houses. Draw the fourth step of the pattern in the grid below. So I'm just going to do it roughly here. You make sure that you use a ruler. Let's count how many we have. So there are 21 matchsticks for the fourth stage. Question two, complete the table of values that links the number of houses H and the number of matchsticks M. So if we count the number of matchsticks in the second stage, there's 11, and the third stage, there's 16. So stage two, 11, stage three, 16, stage four, we got 21. Determine the difference between the number of matchsticks at each step, difference in M values equals. Now the word determine means to find the only possible value. We can see that from 6 to 11, it's plus 5. Again, from 11 to 16, plus 5. And from 16 to 21, again, it's plus 5. So my answer is that I'm always adding 5. It's plus 5. Question 3. Using the information for parts 1 and 2 above, describe using words and or other methods. A rule connecting the number of matchsticks to the number of houses. Make sure the rule is general. From our table that we have a consecutive difference of 5 each time. Okay. I'm going to take H and I'm going to times it by 5. Now if you don't know why I'm doing that, Go and check out the video that I made earlier on. I'll put a link in the YouTube cards and in the description below. You can click on that. So I'm going to do H times 5. So 1 house times 5, that gives me 5. And then 2 houses times 5, that gives me 10. 3 houses times 5 gives me 15. But I notice that if I look at the table, that's not what I have. 1 house times 5 should give me 6. 2 houses give me 11 matchsticks. Three houses give me 16 matchsticks. So there's definitely something missing between these numbers here, which means I need to make an adjustment. Now again, if you don't know what this means, what an adjust adjustment is, go and watch video one, because I, I explain it in there. So here, the adjustment I need to make is plus one, plus one, plus one. So that's gonna give me six matchsticks for the first house, 11 matchsticks for the second house, and 16 matchsticks for the third house. So my formula is gonna be h times 5 plus the 1. So that's my formula for any number of houses. Okay, we can call that the nth term. So question 4 says, use your rule to determine how many matchsticks are needed for the fifth shape of the pattern. For the fifth step of the pattern, if I use this same formula, the number of houses times 5 plus 1, and remember this for any stage. So, for the nth term. Now, I want to find it for the fifth term, for the fifth shape. So, I'm going to substitute 5 times 5 plus 1. That gives me 25 plus 1, which gives me 26 matchsticks. So, let's draw the fifth shape. I'm just going to count how many matchsticks I have. 26 matchsticks, so that works. 26 matchsticks. So let's move on. Question 5 says verify by providing evidence to validate your rule with at least one other example. Hint, draw the sixth or the seventh step of the pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the sixth shape. And let's just count how many matchsticks we have. 31 matchsticks. And let's just confirm with our formula if that actually works. So h times 5 plus 1, that's my formula. So I'm going to do 6 times 5 plus 1. That gives me 30 plus 1, 
31 matchsticks and so that matches with that it's correct question 6 now use your rule to determine how many matchsticks are needed for a mural consisting of 100 matchstick houses determine actually means find the only possible value so we're going to show the working out to show our possible value for 100 houses so remember this is the hundredth shape h times 5 plus 1 so here we're going to substitute h for 100. 100 times 5 plus 1 makes 500 plus 1 is 501. Just make sure your writing is neat and you've clearly communicated and explained your method. So let's quickly recap then. Step 1, complete the table of values. Step 2, difference. And then find or write a formula plus adjustment and then verify by doing the, the sixth shape or the seventh shape or the eighth shape and then we can evaluate your formula the hundredth shape okay now if you need more help go back and watch part one i'll link it in the description below thanks for watching i hope it's helpful drop me a like and i'll see you next time